I'm Kitsy Duncan, and I'm a paranormal researcher. I've investigated the most haunted locations in the world. It's time to give back, to give the dead a voice. My goal is to get this, whoever it may be, to communicate with us. Some people are living in fear, some in sadness. Spirits are just trying to communicate with the living, and sometimes they need help. Love you, girl. Oh my God. I love you too, Dad. And we want to bring their voices from the other side. And so this is this is a huge validation. Last time on Paranormal Crossroad. I am Tammy Huff, and I I've never been good at hearing voices. I was like. I, the whole matrixing thing is like, okay, you can hear whatever you want out of that. But um, the one thing that I did pick out was it said Matt. I definitely heard it say Matt. It, that led to a conversation about um, him wanting him to come back. It is the same, same voice. It is. That sounded like come back. Who do you want to come back? Kind of sound like it. Kind of sound like it. The flashlight session was because he'd always seen it on ghost hunting shows. He gave some pretty clear answers that would have fit. And then um, the whole thing with the cake was kind of a because he'd always had help blowing out candles for his cake. Can I help you blow out the candle? Okay, I'm gonna do it. If you don't want me to do it, you gotta turn that light on, okay? Oh, mom help. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is, and Matthew usually helped him. Do you want Travis to help? You want me to do it? Do you want mom to help? I saw a teeny tiny little flicker. I think he wants mom to help. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> but you gotta help, bud. Did you make your wish? You already left that on. Can you shut it off if you've got your wish made? Okay. Okay. Let, let's talk about the light. I have always liked the, the LED lights, and I always considered, they always called getting Andrew Lincoln's photo op or autograph, that unicorn, chasing that unicorn for, for the walker stalkers. In his, but to me, Justin was my unicorn. So I bought the unicorn LED light. That angel just flicker? It does. It went brighter. The unicorn did. Like it's got a remote that goes with it. There's a remote over here. Was that you? <laughs> That's freaking awesome if it was, man. Well, thank you for letting me do this. Well, thank you for coming to do And I've checked the wires and they don't seem loose. They're not, um, it's been a deep purple, like uh, probably three straight days, but this morning it changed to blue. I'm Travis Huff. I'm the, uh, the baby brother, youngest. So tell me what you thought. Tell me what stuck out, what you're still meh. It was all really pretty neat. Um, everything kind of goes together with things that he would, I felt that he would communicate to or about, uh, you know, having the ability to communicate the things that he does now. Um, I was always kind of not believing of the skeptical. spirit box, skeptical. Um, when you see him on TV, just because they can, I don't, I don't know, it just always seems like it's just whatever they need it to be at the time. Um, but everything that would come through still seemed to kind of add up to relevancy. Mom. Can you say hi to somebody else, Justin? Hi. 
Hello. Uh, flashlight session. What'd you think of the flashlight session? Um, I knew he would be all about that, yeah. for sure. He's always had collections of flashlights. Anywhere you need a flashlight, he's got all of them. So um, I knew he would be all about that one. Do you like the new cats? Is it still working? Okay, thank you. They're just here to keep your mom company. She needs that right now. Hey, how are you today? Hi. Well, you know, I'm living the dream, being kind of nerdy and hanging out with my cats. <laughs> well, it is Catterday, so I appreciate you taking a little bit of time for me. But I have a huge request for you. I know you know I had been to Justin Huff's house yes. recently. And the first investigation was so amazing. But I need to head over there and have Tiffany do her reading. And I was wondering if you wouldn't mind coming along and because I want to I want to pull out a whole bunch of equipment and, and I just don't think I can do it by myself. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I, I would I would love to. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Are you serious? I am so serious. Can you can you wield a camera again? You think? I can, I can. Okay. And this time I'll try not to get so many shots of your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to be great. Um, I, I know I showed you a little bit of the footage of my first investigation there. I'm just so amazed at how Justin came through on the few things I used that first time. I yeah. think I want to bring out the SLS camera. Well, the stick figure camera. Oh, and, yes. And I have this little music box that if people or entities walk in front of it, it starts playing music. We, we tried it at your house, but it didn't work. So no, the cats just wanted to play with it. Now, last time, Justin does have another brother and his name's Matt and Tammy's hoping above all hope that he's going to be able to make it to this one. So I think it might be a full house, but I think we got it and I need your help so bad. Well, one, I love all of this and I'm excited to be around it. The stick figure camera is like one of my favorite th little things that you do. Uh, but also I know from seeing the first part that they have cats. So you tell me we're going to do paranormal stuff and I get to <laughs> hang out with cats. And how could I say no? Well, you, you have to film things other than the cats. Mm, there's going to be some cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, I mean. They're kind of cute. So. You, well, and you know that those cats can give us signals to what's going on in the room. They see things sooner than we do. Okay. So we'll do it next Saturday. And you're officially a part of the team of the Paranormal Crossroad. Yay! I can't believe me anymore. it. Thank you. <laughs> so this is Tammy and Travis. Hi. Hi, guys. So I want to come through. Have you guys had a reading before? We have not. It's going to go by really quick. Yeah. So even if it doesn't make sense, it's okay. We'll be able to go back and hopefully it does make sense. But first of all, I just want you to know, I feel like your son's coming right through for you. He has this huge smile on his face and he says, I'm here, mom, 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 I'm here, I'm here. All right. He's been trying to connect with you. He's all about connecting with you. He also shows me a bracelet that's significant. You have a bracelet in memory of him? Travis does. I want you guys to know that in spirit, they are no longer attached to their body. So whatever physical limitations they may have had, they're not holding on to that, okay? It's just something so important that you need to know. So when he shows me, it's like, Travis, he's coming over here and giving you a high five. Okay, and so he's also acknowledging a birthday. Who just had a birthday? Who has a birthday coming up? Um, his birthday was a couple months ago. Yeah, last time I investigated here, it was his birthday. Oh, okay, all right, because he goes, my birthday, my birthday. He loves you, Kitsy. He loves you, and he says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything that you did for me. He loves it, and he goes, you tell her I'm going to be her guardian angel. He's yeah. amazing. He's also just showing me, he goes, you have to tell my mom I can walk. I can walk. I kind of envision him flying around. I always say all this information is always like pieces of the puzzle and you just kind of throw them together and you piece them together. He shows me a black and white stuffed animal. The cat. Bubbles. Yeah. 
He had a black and white stuffed cat named Waffles that we named after his cat who passed away shortly after he did. Well, I want you to know that he's with Waffles. Waffles just like curls up in a circle, jumps up and just curls up, curls up. So much love. And he goes, don't get rid of the t-shirts, mom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And what am he I supposed to do with them? <laughs> I know, but I think it's because he just loved his t-shirt so much. Have you been thinking about making a blanket out of them? Yes. So that's the beauty of this, is even if you might not have even shared it with anybody, even if it was just a thought in your mind, again, that's his way of just acknowledging I'm right here. So, so does that mean I can put them into a blanket and just not- Absolutely. That way? All right, that makes it better. <laughs> What happens is our thoughts manifest and they hear us. So even if you were thinking, you know what? That would be a pretty interesting idea is to put it, put his shirts in a blanket. He's just acknowledging that. Yeah. Yep. So he's giving you the thumbs up. Okay. That's good. And he says, I love you so much. You know, I know you did everything for me. He said, you fought so hard for me. And I know it wasn't easy because he's talking about how you did it all on your own. And he says, I know you sacrificed everything for me and you need to know how grateful I am. And he, he says, you know, you're my hero. And he said that he would always show you that you were his hero all the time. And you shouldn't have any doubts. doubts. You gave him the best life and the best opportunities possible. He's also showing me a new cat. So you got a new cat after he passed? We did. Because he's saying that he brought the cat to you. That does not surprise me. <laughs> it, it was a big string of coincidences that just, added up to we got to have the cat as you know there's no such thing as coincidence so i feel like that cat was divinely guided to be your cat well oh, sorry kj you can't take him home <laughs> <laughs> and then he said 33. Oh, back on the races you know? matthew's go-kart number is 33. matthew you know that he's your guardian angel watching out for you with that right he does show me that he's with scott <gasps> Kitsy. We asked him that last time I investigated. Oh my God. <gasps> Really? Yes. I that's crazy. And he's so happy. He's so happy that he has company. Tip, thank you so much, darling. You're amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome, you guys. It was so nice to meet you. You too. More more readings. More readings tonight. <laughs> Get it, girl. Do you see what he's doing, Justin? You want to try jazzing rats now? So you just hold them in your hand like this. Hey Justin, I know you're here. We all know you're here. He's here. Um, I brought you lightsabers to play with. Um, it's like the dowsing rods we played with last time. And we kind of want to show Matt that you're really here. I want to show Matt that you're really here. So if you can make those cross for me to show Matt. Lift one a little higher. Can you uncross them for me, bud? So you did amazing. You're doing absolutely amazing. I expected nothing less from you. But can you uncross them for me so we can show Matt that it's really you? There you go. Good job, dude. Can you just straighten out the orange one for me? Make it point right at me. Just the orange one. He's moving the green one out of the way. <laughs> point the orange one right at Kitsy. Not at me, at Kitsy, Justin. I'm excited that that I'm here with you too. But point that over at Kitsy. 
Please. Is he red, green, colorblind like Uncle Bill? <laughs> he could be. <laughs> right at me, right at Kitsy. There you go. Doing great. Almost. It's not right at me. You know me, I'm a perfectionist. Thanks, dude. No. Does this weird me out at all? No. <laughs> Like, Justin thinks you're Justin thinks you're a little weirded up. <laughs> <laughs> or just weird. Weird is the new cool. So I brought this new equipment because we thought you would have fun with it. Is do you want me to get the stick figure uh, little computer out? Will you show yourself to us if I get one of if I get that out? I'm going to be expecting a lot. This will take me a second to set up. So feel free to play with the rods while I curse at myself because I put this really hard. My arms are getting tired of holding Oh, my piece Okay, Travis. Travis and your camera down Oh, God. Are you sure? Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> bud. Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't want him to have I'm not a camera operator, so. Okay. Slow him down. Calm him out. Oh, have mercy. Yes, I know. I'm right there. I'm Get sorry. straight, bud. I want to ask you a question. Straighten the rods out. Justin, can you straighten those so that your mom can ask a question? Check the green one. Straighten them right out. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. How's that? Oh, yeah. Can you cross them if you like, you like it better with the lights off with those fancy colors? There you go. Very good. You're doing really good, buddy. He's like, look how far I can cross these things now. <laughs> he's moving the red one. Now he hasn't been moving the red one. Now he's moving the red one. You like the red one better? Can you cross them if you like the red one better? Cross them over if it's a yes. All the way across. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. I have. Um, so I got the stick figure thing out. You keep doing what you're doing. I think this is making Travis feel like a Ghostbuster. Mm -hmm. you know. Tell us about Justin and and how you came about the getting the cat. How Apollo the came cats. along. Yes. We had gone. Because we spent so, Travis and I had spent so much intense time taking care of Justin those last couple months. And then after he passed away, it was just hard to be here. So we, we went on a trip. A good friend from work had posted that she had some kittens from the feral cat rescue down there in Bloomington. I went ahead and answered her thinking, you know, oh, they're gone. She said, nope, nobody's asked for him. And then she said his name is Apollo. Like, okay, and then I got to looking into the name Apollo. The first cat that I had when I was out there with all the cats where mom was, I named her Venus, which is the sibling of Apollo. Aww. So it's like it just kind of all it's like, okay, I gotta take the cat. That's yeah. that's the way it was meant. So Yeah. So it's uh, that's how we ended up just like all those coincidences that fell into yeah. place. <laughs> so Justin, I have this thing in my hand that um, I know you know something about. It's the stick figure camera, also known as the SLS camera. And I would love to be able to see you on this. I think um, your mom and your brothers would too. Can you point those rods where I should look for you? Do you get weird anomalies around Travis? Then you show up. What about it? He's right there, right now. There? Right there? That was, did you just see that for a second? Mm -hmm. Standing right there? Yeah. There you are. We see you. I'm picking you up right now. He always thought it was funny when they would climb on somebody's head totally climb on your brother's head. Yeah. Right, Trev? That would look good on video. Because it's 
picking you up now, and I know it's you because I can see the rods attached to this small stick figure, which would be you sitting. The other one was, oh, now it's jumping on top of your head. Are Yay! you serious and spinning around? Oh my gosh. Justin, you're killing it. What? That was crazy. Well, I can't ask him to do any more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, can I just say you're my favorite angel right now? Literally. Oh, now he's climbing up the wall. Oh. Mommy thought I could fly. <laughs> Let me show you. You have to tell my mom I can walk. I can walk. I kind of envision him flying around. Justin, can you raise both, both of your hands up? Right, man. Are you showing us tricks? Hey Justin, if that is you, because I'm questioning if it's just a glitch in the connect. Can you come back down to the floor? Maybe he's dancing, gets he? Oh, he literally looks like he's break dancing. Some Backstreet Boys. You said he was good. He he would be flying. <laughs> no, I honestly. That was my first thought. It's gone. Okay, so you've, you've moved the rods. Dude, you showed up as a stick figure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got you. Tell me what? He impresses the hell out of me every time I'm here. Is that your mom? So is that you playing with the unicorn light? Turning it off and on to let your mom know you're there? I did bring another way um, for you to talk to us, if you want to give it a try. Oh. So are you trying that out? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get out the box again so you can talk to us. Do you want to do that? No, I just like KJ. <laughs> I am very, very happy to be here with you, Justin. I've missed you. Okay, so we're gonna turn. No. Oh. I don't think it's me. No, I don't think it is either. That's not you. Something touched my hair. <laughs> Justin, was that you touching Kitsy's hair? Right on, man. <laughs> Stop recording on this. That was very <laughs> cool. I brought an app with, which might make it easier for you to understand than the spirit box. Um, <laughs> they do have a reverb in there, yeah. speaking in reverse. Would you rather me do the spirit box? Oh, you can do that. That's fine. He'll he'll enjoy making all those sounds. <laughs> Kitsy, can he put those down? Yes. <laughs> you are more than welcome to put them down. I mean, I'm not making you, but I know your arms are telling you. No, I thought I had told him. Wait, because. they have different colors? Yeah. Oh, there's a blue one. He loved blue ones. <laughs> So Justin, you choose whatever voice you want to use. So we're, we're mainly here to talk to Justin. But if, if other people have messages, feel free to come through. I feel like I have to say that now because of your investigation and your dad. Yes. Just taking a minute to play with it, figure it out. Still waiting for that hello or anything else you want to say so that we know it's you. 
You got anything you got to say for Matthew? I heard I see you, buddy. Yeah. That's hilarious. We, that's I, hilarious. I was, before we waiting for you, I was gonna make some waffles to eat. I said, as soon as I make them, you guys are gonna show up. Get out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally thought I was crazy. I heard you need to eat your waffles. And you're like, oh, by the way. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Yeah. Do want to know about the morphine? That has me worried. <laughs> None of it is making sense mm -mm. to me. Or are you just tired? He used all of his energy to talk about the waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was impressive. <laughs> right? Okay, Justin, let us know if this is easier for you, please. <laughs> he wore himself out playing with lightsabers. Did you wear yourself out, bud? Well, there's been a lot today. It's been. Maybe dance on the ceiling and everything. I mean, literally. Yeah. Three times the amount we asked for last time. <laughs> and Jim was just boom, boom. Plus, he had the whole conversation with Tiff. Yeah. Are you exhausted? <laughs> <laughs> Did you like talking to Tiffany, Justin? I did. I did. It's it turned all the way up. And it's, yeah, it's faint. Are you tired, buddy? Do you have anything you want to say? I want to say thank you. Thank you for letting me do this with you. KJ thanks you and I know your family thanks you for just being such an awesome guy. Okay. We'll talk to you later. I'm sure I'll be back at some point because I can't get enough of you. Oh look, she put Scott out here. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. We brought you lightsabers instead of flowers because we know you're a lightsaber kind of guy. Oh, my God. Wow. That was so amazing. It was so great. And I, I love that Scott is here with us. I know. Because I know. what a moment that was. Oh, it was huge. Yeah. Absolutely huge. Justin was such a fan of The Walking Dead, and losing Scott was rough on everybody. It was, it was, and it took me a second when uh, Tiffany said, Scott's with him, and Scott's with you. I was like, Scott, this is like Scott, family member, and I'm like, Scott, <laughs> Scott <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> because you weren't at that first um, investigation. I was so. not. He does show me that he's with Scott. No. Kitsy. We asked him that last time I investigated. Oh my <gasps> Really? Yes. I, that's crazy that he's so happy. He's so happy that he has company. I wow. can't believe how much evidence Justin gave us. I mean, it's like he was just ready for it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, there were so many things he wasn't able to do in his physical body. Right. That it doesn't surprise me that when he was free of that, that he's like, yeah, I'm going to talk through the dowsing rods. I'm going to come through the spirit box. I'm going to do all the things. I wonder if it's because he watched all the ghost shows while he was alive that he's like, oh, I can't wait to get my hands on that oh stuff. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's probably true. I hadn't thought about that. But, yeah. You know, like, Maybe someday we'll be the ones that are like, I know how to use all these things. Talk exactly. to me all day. Exactly. <laughs> so what was your most amazing moment? You know, 
I don't want to be like so typical of the cat lady, but um, you know, being there with the cats and sensing what, just knowing those cats know what their mission is, right? Like right. they know that their job, but that, that moment that Tiffany, they got these cats because of Justin. Right. It's such a connection and a validation that our loved ones want us to continue to feel loved. He's also showing me a new cat. So you got a new cat after he passed? We did. Because he's saying that he brought the cat to you. I had so many. I mean, honestly, it was the first time his voice came through because Justin couldn't speak while he was alive. He, he would barely whisper. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that we were able to give somebody who never had a voice a voice was huge. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Yeah. And then the moment when Tiff was doing the reading and, and she said, now you know, you're his hero. And I, oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. And he says, I know you sacrificed everything for me and you need to know how grateful I am. And he, he says, you know, you're my hero. And he said that he would always show you that you were his hero. Yes. So beautiful. And then how funny was it that we could see his little stick figure on top of his brother's head. Like, and the dowsing rod yeah, was just yeah. spinning. <laughs> I mean, he was literally like having a party, being yes. able to be with his family and his yes. favorite people and say, I'm okay. The other one was, oh, now it's jumping on top of your head. Are Yay. you serious? And spinning around. Oh my gosh. Well, he taught me something too. I've always been terrified of what I used to call the creepy crawlies on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But when Justin flew up to the ceiling on the SLS camera, I was like, oh, I have no reason to be scared of this anymore. He's yeah. just showing off. Someday. Yeah. Someday. You know, we'll be dancing on the ceiling with Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about doing this again? I would love to. Are you sure? Well, are you sure you I'm to bring me along? <laughs> One million percent sure. One million percent sure. I would love that. I, you know, I feel like in some ways my grandmother coming during the bingo time, bringing you into this, telling me I needed to do more TV and I needed to share more stories. It was like she was like, you need to do this. Yeah, I, you know, I no, just absolutely. Do. I agree. I agree, and I'm so happy you're along for the ride, um, Justin. Thanks, Bud. Yes, thank you. This won't be the last time we pop in, not at all. But I love you, man, and I'm so glad you're still my boyfriend. <laughs>